Welcome back. back to Feel Good Breakfast Show. This is Expresso on S3 and a beloved comedian who readily shares about the joys and misadvantage uh, adventures of being a parent and fatherhood, both on stage and on social media, is here for you. Now, this guy, I look up to him. I, I think he's somebody that I want to be more like each and every day. So if you don't mind giving a massive Expresso welcome to Nick Robinovitz! <laughs> I'm very, I'm very, uh, thank you, thank you so much. I'm very flattered that, uh, that you look up to me, but let's be honest. Yeah, if we had to stand now, it is... You do look up too much. It's automatic. It's one of those things. But it's so great to see you, my friend. Uh, I, I just, when we look at, at the fathers around South Africa, you're one of those dads where I'm thinking your kids must be entertained on a regular basis. Or maybe they're entertaining you. I've got one, I, I have three kids. Yeah. And uh, one of them shows some comedic talent. Okay. The other two are useless. <laughs> <laughs> well, we all have our favorites. Actually, no, actually, the, the, the baby's also quite funny. Yeah, well, that's, that's beautiful. Yeah. You know, but you, you, you found a way to actually get them to pay their way. Yes. I mean, your 12-year-old is now in showbiz. Yeah, definitely. And that's the thing. And now, if I think about it, tertiary institutions, that's all sorted by him. Yeah. There's no freeloading in this house. So th it's the greatest thing, because I can't wait. And when they leave, do you know that there's the room, there's this PS5s coming in, um, surround sound. It's going to be absolutely incredible. I think it's, 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 I'm excited about it. I want them to grow up fast now. Yeah, they must Can go. get out, please. It's tough out here. But lockdown is tough for everybody. And you as a comedian, um, you know, the entire industry has, has taken a knock. So how did you find yourself having to sort of keep yourself generating those, those jokes, generating content, and to keep yourself sane during lockdown? How was it for you? Well, what actually happened was right in the beginning, obviously, all our work was eviscerated in one go. Yeah. In, in about three days, I think it was. I, indeed, there was there about six gigs of mine was cancelled within minutes. Yeah. And I told my wife that she was now the breadwinner, and she told me that who I was being was unhelpful. <laughs> Uh, that was for about three days. <laughs> I think she suggested I try Urbanol. <laughs> it really does help with the anxiety. It also, it also helps us watching TV, coiling. Yeah. No, I didn't. <laughs> Power weeping. That was my new skill that I developed. Um, but actually, Just... is that what you did? <laughs> no, well, I mean, that's, that's what happens. It's one of the side effects. <laughs> um, then I discovered uh, the Calm app. Actually, I, I discovered the Calm app before then. Oh, with the sound. Uh, with, no, but I actually had this guy called Elijah. Yeah. Uh, and he told me to breathe <laughs> pretty much twice a day, every day, was for he about from 400 days. Was and he from right. South Africa? I've, I've done it religiously every day. What does the uh, accent like with that guy? He's American. He's like, uh, breathe in, breathe out, and just do that a lot of times. <laughs> I mean, it's helpful, I suppose, if you think about it. It is. I, actually, many days in those 20, 30 minutes totally transformed the, <laughs> the anxiety in the body. And then I got, yeah. uh, early on, I got a gig making videos from my house uh, where it didn't require much. I just had to document the chaos uh, that was going on. At one point, the neighbors actually shouted over the wall, shut up, you brat! <laughs> And then I decided to take them a care package. Yeah, and what was that? Um, well, it was actually five bottles of wine. If you remember, Ooh, yes. street value was about 1.2 million. That's correct. At that point. Yeah, if you throw in an entry, it's, it's up to two. But I realized I must have really, uh, we must have peed them off because they looked at the wine and said, no, thanks. <laughs> well, but that's the thing about we had to kind of uh, get used to our spaces. And within those spaces, we had to create entire worlds for our kids and Father's Day's coming up. So I think, you know, ahead of Father's Day, you know, fatherhood also changed because you had to be in the face of your kid all the time. So Ooh. it wasn't like arriving back from a gig or back home. You now were there all the time. How did you handle the pressure of coming up with that much kids' content as a dad? I, I think I uh, spoke to myself a lot. I remember days just going, oh, I, c I can't. I actually, I'm going to go insane. Yeah. Uh, like distance, like uh, virtual homeschool for a three-year-old. Like trying to talk on Zoom to like 20 other three-year-olds. <laughs> I mean, I know that's inherently very privileged anyway, but after five minutes... <laughs> and... 
Yeah. I was just like walk around talking to my. In fact, my nine year old <laughs> one day called me. He's like, Dad, why why are you why are you talking to yourself? And I was like, I'm not. I'm in a PTA meeting. <laughs> A PPA meeting. Like, what, what does the teacher say? That I need to <laughs> self detention. <laughs> in my man cave. Yeah. Leave me alone. I actually spent a lot of time in self isolating in the bathroom <laughs> because I persuaded my wife that the gig I'd gotten yeah. was to make videos in the bathroom. And I called it the Toilet Diaries. I actually did call yeah, it yeah. that. And that actually saved my sanity for quite a few weeks. But it was, that was stressful in itself because. She was like, how much longer are you going to be? <laughs> like, that was only on hour three. Calm down. Yeah. Come on. But if I look ahead, 2021, we just heard some, some tough news from the president the other evening. And now, what is the outlook for the show that's coming up for you? I mean, are we, are we going virtual? Are there any things in, on the cards for you? Uh, well, I don't know where the audience is at in terms of... I did two virtual shows yeah. and I, I kind of ran out of content. Okay. And, uh, Ryan O'Connor said to me the other day, but it's the pandemic, you should have four hours of content. <laughs> and I was like, stop gaslighting me, Ryan. And um, so I don't have a show to do online. Yeah. And I'm not sure people, I don't know where people are at in terms of, people are dying to go to live things, but are, it's a bit tricky. Yeah. So I, th I don't know. I think I'm just gonna, I don't know what I wanna do, Carl. <laughs> I don't know either. We have to try something. We'll try everything. I'm going to grow fakies. That's what I'm going to do. And, and spec worm and do something. Yeah, I mean, spec worm. Go for it good. like that. It uh, supplies oxygen. <laughs> something like that. I heard that also, too. Also, it's, it's karam, the spec worm. It's the bacon, <laughs> the bacon tree. I can't, I can't. Actually, I do like to eat it. <laughs> you it's know? It's very tasty. In a salad. <laughs> So we're beyond spec worm. A quick one to dads out there. Father's Day is coming up. You know, what, what's possibly a teaching that you'd like to share with any dads who are building up to this incredible day on the weekend? Sure, I don't know. What do dads... I mean, dads... Um, we sacrifice a lot, I yeah. guess, as, as parents. Not all dads. Some dads during the pandemic were like, I'm just going to buy, go buy smokes and never came back. <laughs> But I don't yeah. smoke, so I couldn't use that. Yeah. But if you need to go smoke, even metaphorically, just make the time to do that, dads. Go out there and do your thing on Father's Day. If it's fishing or whatever it is, make time for yourself because otherwise it's difficult to bring your full self to your family. True. So At true. least that's what I'm telling my wife. I need to go surf. Let's go surf. Do whatever you need to do. Look after yourself. A little later, this gentleman and I will be going into a face-off with dad jokes. I am going to lose horribly, but I'll try my best. I'll do what I can. Nick Rabinovitz on your Feel Good Breakfast show. This is Expresso and S3. Stick around.